Hi everyone, welcome to the KYOPS channel. I'm Rafael Lima and today we're going to be setting up owner to be able to use all the properties. So far we have been using only local properties, but we need to be able to set up owner to use different properties as well. So if you haven't subscribed, please do so. Hit the bell to receive notification of my next video. And I'm also going to be posting the links for the previous video so you can keep it up and understand uh, what you have been doing. Right. So if we take a look here at what we have so far, we and I'm going to post the link link of what we did because this is really important for you to understand how we set up on it. So I'm going to create a new property called Circle Properties, and I'm going to use the same. I need to use the same properties, but with different value. Uh, I already know that Circle CI is going to be using localhost. The base path is the same. And the port is going to be 8080, uh, right? We're not, we are not going to be using 1234, it's going to be 8080. So now I need to be able to say how how can I'm, how am I going to use this? I have local and I have circle. How my code is going to know which is going, which one should be used? So if you take a look here at the loading strategy of Honor, Honor has uh, a way of a load policy, right? a way of you to load properties. So you have like a load first, and this is default. Whatever is going to find first is going to be used. And you have a merge, which is going to say, hey, if you find this, awesome, use these properties. Now you're going to find uh, the other properties. If you find the other properties, you need to merge, and it's going to override, and it, there's going to be a priority in, in, in which one is going to be overridden. Uh, and you need to read a little to understand how it's going to work, but I believe the last one has precedence over the first one. We're going to be use the load first uh, load policy, which is the default one, right? So what we're going to do here is when we go to the server config, we already said, hey, this is going to be, we're going to be using local property. So now what I need to do is I need to tell it that I want to use the circle one, class, path, properties. But I don't want to put the circle right away here, right? What I want to do is I want to put, it needs to be any possible environment, right? It's, it's circle because that's the only one that we have. But I, I need to be able to have other kind of environments. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to give it a way of being uh, having like a dynamic variable, which is going to be uh, dollar sign and curly brackets, env, meaning that this is going to be a variable. And env is going to be a environment variable. And I'm going to say env dot properties, right? Cool. There is a problem the way that we did it because we are using the default load policy and the default is if you find the first one use the one so we are saying hey look for the local one the local one is always going to be there and this is going to be a problem right because it's always going to find so we need to switch here so this needs to go up and the local needs to go down So now what I'm telling is, hey, hey, you need to look for the env properties, the whatever is defined in the variable properties. If you don't find it, go for the local, right? So I'm going to run this test and it should run. We didn't define any variable, it should run because it was empty, right? So I'm not really sure how that's going to look like. It might look like as an empty string dot properties. We don't have that, or it might look like as a dot properties, which is in Unix, is going to be mapped as a hidden file called dot properties. We don't have that either. So, awesome, it was able to run. Great, so now how can I test that this is actually working? So let's go to our terminal. I'm going to say Gradle clean test, and it should run the test using the local properties. 
amazing. So I can open the the report. We have the report here. It was just ran. So now what I'm going to tell it, I'm going to export a variable called env, which is the one that we're looking for. And I'm going to say that circle is going to be used. So now I'm going to rerun our test and it's going to find the circle properties file. And it failed. And if you take a look here, it failed because it was not able to connect. Connection refuse. You also see here connection exception, connect exception. It was not able to connect. If I come here to circle and I say one, two, three, four, and five, and run again, now is going to be able to execute because we use the, the local port, right? Awesome, but this should be 8080. So now if I change the environment from circle to staging, right? So we already put 8080. If I change to staging and I rerun my test, it should also work because staging is not a valid file. So it's going to be using the local file. So it ran, everything's fine, everything was successful. Because it came here, it changed env for staging. It looked for a file called staging.properties. That file is not a, not does not exist. Therefore, it's going to look for the local properties and it's going to run the test using the local properties, which is exactly what it, we want. So any circle CI strategy that you have, any CI strategy, doesn't matter if it's circle, Jenkins or whatever, it has the ability of sending environment variables, right? So now in your circle, it's going to orchestrate where that job should be ran. So if it should be ran on circle, it's going to send the variable circle. If it's going to be ran on a, if that test should be using the, the, the system installed into staging, you just say, environment variable should be called staging and it's going to use this staging properties and that's it right and this is how any system works because if you think about it when you create a system the code of the system spring boot does this fairly easy you are running locally so you should use the local uh, properties for running that system if it's using a qa or stage environment should you use those environments but when it's in production it should use the environments for production as well so yeah that's it that's basically what i wanted to show you uh if you haven't subscribed please do so hit the bell to receive the notification of my next videos uh, if you like it give the thumbs up and it's really important that you do because that's how the channel can keep growing and I'm going to see you on next video. Thank you.